Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. I'm Ron Nicoletti. It is a really beautiful Thursday afternoon. We got nine races to look at. We'll check out the track and the weather conditions and turn it over to the one and only Pete Aiello with the call of all nine races. Another beautiful day in Hallandale Beach with temperatures in the mid 70s. The sun is out, the main track is fast, the turf course is firm. In the first race, scratch number four, gotta go Gator. Racing at Gulfstream. Poor start for Buddha Boy at the back. Good start for Reddy on the line, who heads off for the early lead from the outside. Go, go green, away in good shape. The favorite Heart Boys in the yellow colors angling for racing room. Collisions a bit wide on the course. Napa Dude bounced around toward the back of the field, and Dream of Blessing saves ground on the inside. So as they chase the speed of Reddy on the line to the opening quarter, he leads by a length and a half. Up on the outside, now into second is Go, go green. That puts Heart Boy in tight. Three wide collision, Dream of Blessings along the rail. Second last is Buddha Boy, the trailer is Napa Dude. Field separated by four lengths as they head down the backstretch to quarter time was 25 and one. Go, go green now turning up the pressure on Reddy on the line who's taken a strong hold of the bit. Their heads apart, two better than Heart Boy waiting in the wings third. Dream of Blessings is at the rail fourth. Reyes has collision close enough if good enough. Second last is Irad on uh, Napa Dude and the trailer is Buddha Boy. The leader is Reddy on the line. Ready on the line, carved a half and 49 and two and swings into the turn on top. Go, go, green begins to drop back. Heart Boy is up into second. Dream of Blessings is next. Collision got stuck in traffic outside of Napa Dude. The trailer is Buddha Boy. The leader is ready on the line. To the top of the stretch, ready on the line. Leads by a length and a half. Heart Boy is second, trying to make ground. A gap of three to collision together with Napa Dude. Then Dream of Blessings and they're at the top of the stretch. Three quarters, 114 and one, they turn in. Ready on the line, held together up top. Heart Boy still trying down the center. Collisions up to third, eighth of a mile to go. Ready on the line, he's responding here and he still leads by two and a half. Heart Boy can't reach him and nor can anybody else. Ready on the line, down the road. Heart Boy second, third, Dream of Blessings, then Collision, and man, Napa Dude, 142 and one. beginning. Major Wager sent along to try to gain the early advantage moving out the rail. Red Flag Alert has speed up to the far outside. That's Freedom Matters and in the three path so street. From behind the speed is Uno Tiger racing ahead of our country and the late running attentive is last of the seven as Red Flag Alert comes away with the lead. Red Flag Alert leads by a length and a quarter. Major Wager is there second. So Street is three wide. Uno Tiger is tucked in, followed by Freedom Matters. Headstrong behind them is our country. And settled at the back is attentive, last of the seven, with less than five furlongs to run. The opening quarter was 23 and four as they head down the backstretch. Red Flag Alert has the lead three parts of length. Major Wager is latched on to him second. So Street has been working out in the center throughout. From behind the speed, fourth is Uno Tiger, then Freedom Matters and Attentive, and at the back is Our Country. They make their way to the far turn through a 48 and one half mile. It's still red flag alert to target. Major Wager turning up the pressure now. He's only a neck off the lead. Two back to So Street, then Uno Tiger and Freedom Matters. Our Country and Attentive toward the back is Major Wager. Now sticks a neck in front. Red Flag Alert tries to counter that attack with So Street and Uno Tiger. Our Country looking to work into the clear. Floating wide off the corner was Freedom Matters as they straighten for the drive. Major Wager has the lead. Our Country starts to finish up down the center. Uno Tiger, So Street, and Red Flag Alert. Final 16th of a mile. Major Wager is still in front. Our Country taking a late shot at him. Here's the wire. It is a win for Major Wager. He held on. Major Wager beat Our Country, who just missed in 129. And one.
they're off. Matakai was off slowly, and so was Jack and Jill. Good start for Grand Rock, who heads off for the early lead from Andy Lithic away in second. Preston Murray's on the outside third. Aldo's dream beaten for speed today. He's racing back in fourth. Hollywood Hero improves with an inside lane after a less than stellar getaway. Monakai has moved closer. The trailer is Zach and Jill. They pass the half mile point with Grand Rock in front. Three parts of length over Andy Lithic in second. Preston Murray three wide third. Aldo's Dream is at the rail fourth. Two back to Monakai fifth. Three more to Armor Piercing, then Zach and Jill and Hollywood Hero. Less than three eighths of a mile away. The leader is Grand Rock, but only narrowly. Preston Murray bids up to him on the outside second. Andy Lithic is back to third. Aldo's Dream fourth. Monakai remains fifth, but he's better than six lengths off the lead with a quarter of a mile left to go. Grand Rock starts to get serious. He opens a two and a half length lead over Preston Murray in second. Trying to run home between horses is Monakai down the center in Aldo's Dream. There's an eighth of a mile to go, and Grand Rock is kicked clear with authority. Grand Rock and jockey Miguel Vasquez running up the score at the 16th pole. Second is Preston Murray. Third is Aldo's dream. But three to five is easy money. And Grand Rock won easy. Second was Preston Murray. Third was Aldo's dream. Then Monakai and armor piercing. One twelve and three. Light bobble at the start from surprise payoff. At the rail, smoke and cloud ridden for the early lead. All about Lucky has speed. Surprise payoff and Pounceable make it a party. Four across the course. Out in the center is Solomon's Gold and Art Handler's at the back, but no more than two and a half from first to last as they scrimmage for early supremacy. From between horses, it's Pounceable who comes away with the lead. Up on the outside, surprise payoff into second. That shuffles Smoke and Cloud back to third. All about Lucky is fourth, followed by Solomon's Gold and Art Handler at the back. They make their way to the top of the stretch. The opening quarter was drilled 21 and four with the advantage pounceable by a neck. Surprise payoff is there second. From the outside, that smoking cloud who rebids into third with Solomon's gold in fourth. And then it's the rest of the field led by All About Lucky. The two favorites are going quickly, but Pounceable has the lead. It's Pounceable to the top of the stretch, getting away from Surprise Payoff. Tries to shake everybody else. Surprise Payoff wanders way out in the center. So Pounceable is home and cooled now. He's an eighth of a mile from home and now seven on top. Solomon's gold's going to get into second, then Smoking Cloud. Surprise Payoff is way out in the center. He's essentially pulling himself up as Pounceable wins by many. Second is Solomon's Gold. Third is Smoking Cloud. Then All About Lucky fourth. Picture perfect beginning. Good start out wide for Malek. English Painter has speed. Commander Flynn sent forward between them and right on Richie speeding through at the rail. Back fifth early McMoney, then Lightning Tones. The two at the back, Super Spreader and Cobber Soul. Around the clubhouse turn they go. Right on Richie and Irat Ortiz Jr. have the lead. They lead a length and a quarter over Commander Flynn in second. Malek is on the outside third from English Painter who runs into a pocket fourth. McMoney is in the orange colors while fifth and Lightning Tones is at the inside. Two back to Super Spreader. He's at the back of the field with Kabar Su. Last of all, quarter time was 24 and two. Down the back stretch they go. Right on Richie. Has the lead a length and a quarter. Commander Flynn second. Malek is three wide third. At the rail, it's English Painter who follows along fourth. Then Lightning Tones and McMoney. Still out the back are Super Spreader and Kabar Soul. 
They have four furlongs to run, and right on Richie has the lead. From the outside, Commander Flynn second. Lightning Tones with a mid-race move for Panici, driven toward the rail. Malek is on the outside, held up in traffic now as English Painter. McMoney trying to keep him in traffic while starting wide on the course. Two back to Super Spreader, then the pack marker Cabusol as they round the far turn. It's right on Richie, still in front. Malek is there second. Commander Flynn the first to drop anchor. Three wide McMoney on from fourth English Painter, then Lightning Tones underway from the back is super spreader and they're at the top of the stretch right on Richie now with the lead toward the outside McMoney in between horses Malek late run from English Painter he starts to find his best stride eighth of a mile to go McMoney tackling right on Richie's English Painter with dead aim here's English Painter down the center under Tyler G and up to win it good battle for second right on Richie is second from McMoney in third in 140 and three to stride from the far outside was Nucci. Maroon Bells has speed. Mohawk trail offensive minded and Agua Dulce makes it a party. Agua Dulce to the top in the charge to the first turn. Mohawk trail is second. Nucci's in the blue on the far outside. Metaphysical saves ground with Maroon Bells. Then Scottish Symphony. Mid-flight early is Pilata Sisters. The favorite's only about five lengths off the speed. She's a length better than Riding Pretty out deep on the course. That's the gray firing bullets at the rail and 30 Thou Kelvin second last. The trailer is State of Mind, separated by nine lengths through a quarter in 23 and three. Agua Dulce putting up the numbers in front three parts of a length. Mohawk Trail is second up on the outside. Now Nucci is third. Looking for room while a bit keen is Metaphysical, who's next at the rail. Followed by Maroon Bell. She's racing between horses and three lengths off the speed. Then Scottish Symphony racing together with Pilata Sisters. A length back to Riding Pretty, who just had to tap on the brakes. 30 Thou Kelvin just passed firing bullets and State of Mind at the back. Around the far turn with less than three furlongs to run. Agua Dulce has the lead in a bid to make all. Metaphysical begins to hunt for racing room. Scottish Symphony looking to work to the clear. Pilata Sisters is held up in traffic in the rapid top of the stretch. With the advantage, Agua Dulce a length and a quarter. They're charging now. Scottish Symphony and riding at the rail. Riding Pretty finishing up. Here comes Riding Pretty and Paco down inside and up for a narrow lead. Metaphysical lunges at her. Metaphysical riding pretty. Here's the wire. Photo finish. Bang bang finish there was metaphysical outside. It was riding pretty inside. Too tight to call at 128 and three.
balance at the break with Shastri. Sent hard from the rail is One America, but quicker to begin is Bird Wildcat, and he takes an early advantage. Sent through at the rail and One America charging now to challenge. Mr. Boma comes away racing in third from Double Play King in fourth. Two back to Bad Bad Bobby. The early trailer is Shastri. It's a speed duel on the top end. One America on the inside. Bird Wildcat on the outside. Their heads apart. Watching the action unfold while three wide is Mr. Booma in third. A gap of three more to double play King, then back to Bad Bad Bobby, and Shastri is last. 22-1 and one for a rock-solid opening quarter as they leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. Bird Wildcat and Jose Ortiz try to shake free. They lead by a length. Mr. Booma counters the attack with a move on his outside. From third, it's one America. He's dropping back. Double play King begins to stoke the boilers for Torres. He's only three lengths off the speed. These top four still have a large gap on the rest, led by Bye by Bad Bobby and Shastri as they run to the top of the stretch. There's a quarter of a mile left to go. They put Mr. Booma away. The leader is still Bird Wildcat, but he has to shake Double Play King, who bids up to him on the outside. Here comes Double Bay Kling up to take the lead from Bird Wildcat, who's back to second. Bird Wildcat's fought off a lot of challengers, but the final challenge will prove nothing he can handle as Double Play King is kicking clear. Double Play King and jockey Jaime Torres, five to one, and home a two-length winner. Bird Wildcat second, up for third with Bad Bad Bobby, then Mr. Booma in 124-1. We're ready for the start. They're off. J.P. Hellish comes away quickly, taken on early by Sunset Provision. Their heads apart. Aramio works over on over the channel to race into third. Back chat is on the outside. From between horses, it's Drillomatic. And down at the inside, Marissa's Mission. The two at the back, Timmy M. and the bar. And they run around the first turn. J.P. Hellish has the lead. Leads by a length and a quarter over Sunset Provision in second. Over the channel is now third. And Marissa's Mission's at the rail fourth. So the favorites are third and fourth and about three lengths off the speed. Back chat is tugging while three wide, then Drillomatic and Timmy M, and the Mara's last. The opening quarter in the books, less than five furlongs from the finish. J.P. Hellish has the lead by a length and a quarter. Sunset provision is second. The quarter was swift, 23 and two. Armeo's not waiting. He's moving on over the channel, and he's moving now up to challenge for control. Marissa's mission is quite happy to sit where she is, racing in fourth now. Then back to back chat. He follows the move of over the channel. Three wide is the bar. At the rail, it's Timmy M. And shuffled to the back of the group is Drillomatic as they take it to the far turn. 46 and three for a pretty swift half mile here. They round the far turn with over the channel within a neck of J.P. Hellish. Back chat, blue blinkers, three wide now third. That's all for Sunset Provision. The Mar rallies with Marissa's mission. Timmy M is at the rail with less than a quarter of a mile to go. Over the channel has taken a narrow lead. J.P. Hellish is back to second. Winding up is the Mar at a big price. Cutting the corner is Timmy M with an eighth of a mile to go. Over the channel tries to put away a stubborn J.P. Hellish. Eighth of a mile remaining and J.P. Hellish is now second and behind over the channel, who's finding what he needs. Aggression was a winning tactic from Jaramillo over the channels in front. J.P. Hellish second, Timmy M third, Marissa's mission fourth, the Mar finished fifth, 140 and four.
comes away. Don't answer, blew the start, seven or eight lengths last. Good start for Best Defense, who heads off for the early advantage from newcomer Portofino, who's away racing in second. Mr. American is together with Lawful. They're third and fourth. Boy, oh boy, and Victory Line are next, and left behind last is Don't Answer. Half a mile from the finish, Best Defense has the lead. Mr. American, the nearest pursuer second. Portofino is now third. Junior Alvarado trying to find clear racetrack for victory line. Lawful keeps him bracketed in, and boy, oh boy, is out deep on the course. Still far back to don't answer. 22-2 and two for the opening quarter, less than three-eighths of a mile away. Mr. American within a neck of best defense on the front. Three wide and lawful. Victory line has had no place to race throughout. Down at the rail in Portofino. Then boy, oh boy, as they straighten for the drive. It's best defense. He's got a kick, and he leads now by three. Second is Mr. American. Portofino's at the rail. Lawful's not bringing his best stuff to the table, but best defense has the lead. Second, Mr. American, and that's the way they'll finish. Best defense wins. Mr. American was second. And Lawful ran third, then Portofino. And boy, oh boy. And 102 and four. And that wraps up Thursday's action. We're back here on Friday with another nice nine race card. Of course, our first race post, 12, 10 p.m. And it's going to kick off a really fun weekend here at Gulfstream Park with double stakes action on Saturday. And, of course, the return of the pick five, the coast-to-coast -coast pick five, with only a 15% takeout. Good night and good luck.